let's go ahead and take a look at what multiples are in mathematics and then we'll kind of be able to define uh, the lowest common multiple. Again, LCM stands for lowest common multiple. And we're trying to figure out the uh, LCM uh, given these two numbers. All right, so what is a multiple? Okay, so kind of understand these words, the lowest, right? Pretty much everyone understands what lowest is. And common is if two things are in common, it means, you know, they are the same. We just got to understand this word right here, multiple. All right, so let's take a look at 8, and then we'll look at 20. So let's look at multiples of 8. But what does that mean? Well, it means that 8's being multiplied by uh, these nice uh, um, uh, natural counting numbers. We'll start, well, well it's actually going to be more than that, but we're just multiplication, all right? So 8 times 1, we'll start off um, with the first multiple. 8 times 1 is 8. So 8 itself is a multiple of 8. Uh, 8 times 2 is 16. So 16 is a multiple of 8. 8 times 3 is 24. 24 is a multiple of 8, etc., etc. right? So uh, here, uh, 32 is a multiple of 8 because 30, uh, 8 times 4 is 32, and you get the idea, okay? So these are all multiples of 8. Now let's look at multiples of 20. So 20 times 1 is 20. So that's a multiple of 20. 20 times 2 is 40. So 40 is a multiple of 20. Okay, because 20 times 2 is 40. Uh, again, you get the idea. 60 is a multiple of 20 because 20 times 3 is 60, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay, so these are multiples of these respective numbers here. These are multiples of 8. These are multiples of 20. And this goes on infinitely, right? So we could just continue to go on and on and on and write multiples out. But I wanted to show you um, uh, kind of what a multiple is by kind of writing it out this way, writing a list of multiples. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the lowest common multiple. But before we get to the lowest, let's just find some common multiples or uh, a common multiple. All right, so let's just look through this list here. I'm like, oh, look, I see this has an 80 as a multiple. And so 8 has uh, 80 as a multiple and 20 also has 80 as a multiple. Pretty cool. And they do have um, infinitely other multiples in common. So if you scan the list, you're like, oh, look here. They also have 40 uh, in common as a uh, multiple. So let's see here. Uh, the multiple that's less than 40 is 20. Does this have a 20? No, it doesn't. So what is the lowest uh, common multiple or multiple they have in common? It is 40, okay? So, of course, that is the answer. Um, the lowest common multiple between 8 and 20 is 40. So you might be saying, oh, that's awesome. Anytime I uh, do a problem like this, I'll just write out a whole list of multiples and then look for the lowest common multiple. And actually, it's not a bad uh, approach, but there is a better approach and more uh, of a technical approach, something that you're going to need to know, especially if you uh, continue to uh, study algebra, which most of you, 99.9% .9 of you, will be taking. So you want to be uh, thinking about how to find the LCM in this manner. Okay, so again, it's not to diminish what I just explained this because this uh, clearly shows what multiples are and how to find the lowest common multiple, uh, kind of a more basic um, uh, approach, but these are easy numbers to find the LCM. But let's go ahead and find the LCM of 8 and 20 um, using uh, kind of the more a more sophisticated approach that you're going to need for more um, advanced mathematics. Okay, so let's get into it. So here's 8 and 20, and what you need to do is you need to prime factor each number, okay? So you do that using a factor tree. So if you're never, uh, pretty sure most of you have seen a factor tree. So here's how it goes. So let's just start with eight, okay? So eight is the same thing as what? Well, it's the same thing as four times two. So every time uh, we have, these are factors of eight, okay? A fa factors are um, numbers such that when you multiply them together, you get back, uh, they form a product that gets back to that other number. Okay, so 4 and 2 are factors of 8. But when I look at 4 and I look at 2, which one of these numbers is a prime number? Well, if any, right? Well, 2 is a prime number. So uh, kind of a good way to build a factor tree is to circle that prime. Anytime you hit a prime factor, just circle it. Okay, that's basically what I wanted to say. So we're going to circle that 2, and there you go. Okay, so we have one prime factor right here. 
but 4 is not prime, so we need to keep going. So 4 is the same thing as 2 times 2. So this is prime, this is prime, and this is prime. So all three of these numbers, this number times this number times this number, is 8. So 8 is the same thing as 2 times 2 times 2, which we want to express as a power. So this is 2 to the third power, right? So uh, just so you know, uh, 2 to the third power just means, hey, we're taking 2, we're multiplying it by itself three times. Okay, so that is prime factoring, a nice little easy number like that. Let's go ahead and prime factor 20. So you could start off by saying, oh, 20 is the same thing as 2 times 10 or 4 times 5. You'll get to the same final answer. It doesn't make a difference uh, how your factor tree uh, looks. All right, so looking at uh, 20 as 4 times 5, 5 is a prime factor. 20 is not prime. I'm sorry, 4 is not prime, so we have to continue to factor. So we have 2 times 2 times 5. These are the prime factors of 20. So I could think of 20 as the same thing as 2 times 2, which is what? 2 squared times 5. 2 squared is 4. 4 times 5 is 20. Okay, so this is really important. So we're going to think of 8 uh, as 2 cubed. Okay, that's just, uh, um, the way we're expressing its prime factors. That number's prime factor. And 20, we're going to think of as 2 squared times 5. Okay, so now let's go ahead and talk about how to find the LCM. So I hope you're learning something from this video. And if that's the case, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification. This really does help me out on YouTube. Now, if you need additional help in math, make sure to check out my full main math courses. You can find links to those in the description of this video. So let's go ahead and get back to the problem. All right, so to find the lowest common multiple, what you need to do is you need to multiply each prime factor between the two numbers, okay? So let's go back here and let's look at the prime factors. Okay, so we have, uh, let me kind of uh, make this really clear here so there's no confusion because this is where the good part comes into. All right, so here are, this is a prime factor, this is a prime factor, and this is a prime factor. So when we prime factored both of these numbers, we ended up with this as a prime factor, this is a prime factor, and this is a prime factor. So the lowest common multiple uh, is basically a little formula that says, hey, take each uh, unique prime factor and just multiply it by itself. We have to have each one represented. Okay, so let's go ahead and just go in and uh, build this out. So the LCM, we have 2 to the third and 2 squared. So the que this is like the first question that um, uh, probably the most uh, uh, confusing question that students have when it comes to the prime factor. So what is the, what is the number here that we're dealing with? Well, it's 2, okay? So in the LCM, should I put 2 or do I need to put 2 cubed and then a 2 squared? No, okay? Here is how you do uh, do this, okay? This is 2 cubed. All we care about is this bottom number, all right? So this is a 2 and this is a 2. So all we need is 1, 2 represented in our LCM. Just 1, 2, okay? But which 2? Do we do 2 cubed or 2 squared? You always do the highest power of that number, okay? So this is 2 cubed. This is 2 squared. So we have to have a 2 cubed represented. That's why when you prime factor, you need to write your prime factors in terms of powers because you might have something like a 2 cubed over here and a 2 squared here. So you always pick the highest power of that number. So when it comes to 2, we have to have a 2 cubed uh, in our little LCM in terms of our factors. So that takes care of the 2s. And then all we need here is our 5 represented. So that's 2 cubed times 5. And remember, 2 cubed is what? 2 times 2 times 2, which, of course, is 8. So this is 8 times 5, which is 40, okay? So, uh, again, uh, to find the LCM, you need to know how to factor and prime factor. And basically, the technique I just showed you here is the exact same way, um, the same procedure that we use to find the LCD of fractions, okay? So if I had, like, 3... Uh, over eights plus or three eights plus uh, 
1 over 20, okay, and I wanted to find the LCD, the LCD is 40. You might be able to kind of see this easy uh, in terms of um, uh, looking at this as fractions, but the LCD is the LCM. These numbers here, if I'm finding the LCM of the denominator, that is in fact the lowest common denominator. But this little kind of procedure that I uh, showed you here uh, by prime factoring, this comes into play even in algebra when we're dealing with variable expressions, etc. So really, really important that you understand what the LCM is and its role in fractions as the LCD. If you need additional help in basic math, Check out these two courses right here. So the first is my Math Foundations course. This is a, a quick review of basic math. Now, if you want to review uh, basic math, algebra, and geometry, then check out my Math Skills Rebuilder course. I'm going to leave uh, links to both of these courses in the description of this video. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.